yet again. Um, it's the afternoon. I have been drinking a fair quantity of yerba mate in this nice little ceramic gourd. Well, it's not really a gourd. It's a trinket pot that my godmother uh, made when she did her pottery. And I'd like to thank her very much if she happens to be watching. And if she's not watching, then I'd like to thank her for it anyway. As you can see, my yerba mate is in there. And it's rather dry right now because I've just been hitting it like crazy. The inquiry I've been given today is by a person, hmm, another monkey with a phone, just like I am, and everyone else out there who's watching here, hello. Okay, I've been viewing your videos for quite a while now. It says here, you have taught me so many things, uh, you're reliable and trustworthy, and not normal new, new age of bullshit that many people think is the answer. Thank you for your videos, no problem. Someone's got to say this stuff, and someone in the industry like me, and it's just the way it is. I am writing to you for your thoughts. I've recently had a strange experience where I was, when I was doing some meditation and I heard a voice clear as day. It said my name right in my ear. I could feel its breath on my face. I understand this is nature and it's freaky. But I think that's what's not helping our society and the new age groups and the film industry. How many films are there about ghosts, demons, and angels? Question mark. Too many to count. And I think that's what society is taking in. This is making people connect with the made-up ideology of the film and then relating to it whenever they have a strange experience. And so they fall into the zone of it must be demons, of course. We all know, brackets, I hope, brackets that films are made up, but still some people make connections and it's not helping anyone to move forward to go and explore these strange experiences. So I just wanted your thoughts on this matter. Is the film industry partially contributing to uh, people believing new age bullshit? Question mark. Okay, bottom line, answer, yeah. It's called literary romanticism, and literary romanticism of various different forms has been partially what has been a foundational principle and concept of what has like really like made uh, the neo-pagan movement, for instance, um, enter into its current form. Uh, even though there's like influences from lots of things such as like uh, ritual magic, Lesserky of Solomon, and also folklore, and you know the the fiction and mythology of Pan, uh, and the creation of uh, basically new religions based upon uh, or with old ideas connecting to it, kind kind of thing. But literary romanticism moves into fear as well. It moves into belief in different ways, but people don't always understand what they themselves mean when they say the word belief, and that really, really, really messes things up for people and stops them from thinking in a clear and true way about like what life is really about about what anything is really about. I mean, I carried on talking on this one particular channel years back about the different types of belief that didn't really stop people from being able to distinguish one form of belief from another and that's one of the things which like you know gets in the way of people progressing intellectually about stuff i mean what different types of belief are there think about it think about it think about it sit down on your backside take your yoga battery take your caffeine take your nicotine and spend your time thinking about all the different types of belief all the different levels of belief what the, all the different ways in which the word belief actually means stuff and then you'll start to see that there is different types of belief and the word belief is used in many different ways but not everyone gets that because people are simple and they want to simplify everything and they simplify their hopes they simplify their aspirations they find things or buy things to give them extra hope and also they choose to believe things to encourage them to be afraid of things again because it simplifies things because people all like that kind of stuff it's always it's much better to have a thinking of angels demons you know it's that kind of like simple nice nasty all right just a, but because and people look to fiction why do people look to fiction because they don't have the objectivity to look at fact they don't have the objectivity to think that there are things that they don't know and no one likes to think that they don't know or the vast majority of people i've grown very comfortable with the idea of accepting the fact that there's millions and billions and billions of things which i don't fucking know all right that's a good thing knowing that you don't know is a good thing believing that you know when you don't that's a bad thing and yes sometimes you can uh believe something which is incorrect or accept something as a fact which is incorrect and you have to do more research and more self-criticism to you know break on through that uh and you know i've, I've had problems of 
misunderstanding public holidays because I, I had absorbed some like false science or false history about various public holidays and I had to like you know work my way through that and, and clear that up that was a really important part of my personal development and that has to happen with lots of other things but yes the movie industry they want one thing they want your money okay they want to have the the ability to shove something out on cable and put lots of commercials so that they can get the advertising revenue I mean I'm putting out videos so I can get the advertising revenue as well as the fact that I'm trying to stop people from being in that kind of like <gasps> completely messed up world all right which uh, they're in because they're absorbing stuff which is wrong so many new age books are badly written all right i mean i'm actually trying to at the moment write some occult fiction but i'm i'm i'm, I'm trying to do it in a manner which is going to criticize belief i'm always i'm hoping i'm going to be able to achieve that and if i'm not then someone else is going to say like oh this must be the way the truth and like no no not no, not necessarily it's a fucking book relax you sit down you drink tea you enjoy it okay it's there for pleasure oh crikey let's change the color of lighting for a few seconds yeah we go right so oh actually no let's change that to something else we'll go to yeah whoops there we go. Much more fun. All right, now, so what is wrong with the world? Okay, millions of things. Okay, obviously, because 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 it's it's run by humans. All right, we're, we're, we're crap. Right, but <laughs> too much caffeine, too much nicotine, not enough sense. Calm down, Nick. Calm down. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, the film industry is messing people up big time. Uh, because people are choosing to allow themselves to get messed up rather than to ask questions. If you think about it, people go to work, all right, uh, and then they leave and they're tired, but they want to have some fun. So they go somewhere where they have an entertainment experience. Uh, part of their brain is going to be true. So there's always part of us that's trying to learn something. Okay, always part of us is trying to learn something. And so the brain will be catching on to the various ideas within the movie and will be like saying like that's what's real or that's what's important or that's what's like the most, you know, that's there's something in that, which basically it isn't. And in the end, people will lose track of the meanings of words because they would assume that all that stuff that they've seen on the screen is what someone is saying that they believe when basically that is not the case. Does that make it clearer? <laughs> or does that make it slightly less clear? Your opinion below would be a very good um, kind of thing in a kind of like perspective-y kind of a way. <laughs> Calm down. Perspective, relax. Okay, so and as far as your strange experience is concerned, that was a very strange experience. I've never had a, a experience of feeling something which felt like the breath of another person on my face when I was doing a meditation. So obviously, you know, an extra point to you for that one. But, you know, whatever weird things happen, it is nature, whether we understand it or not, it's nature. Uh, whatever's going on, it, you know, everything in the universe is something in the universe, okay? But it's, it, it's our moral responsibility, our intellectual responsibility to be able to work out what stuff is, what stuff isn't, and what stuff we just can't understand or accept because we are just these proxy, pathetic, um, organic life forms who happen to have phones and cameras. And that, that, that's it. That's all. We just happen to have phones and cameras. But apart from that, you know, we're crazy. You know, we're stupid. And we have to agree, we have to understand that and accept it and live with it. And perpetually try and get to a point of being able to understand stuff. And that will take some time, and that will take some work, and it's up to us to try and do it. But the first thing we have to do is to accept the fact that we know nothing. The five millennia in the future, they'll look back on this era 
as being the dark ages you know the poxy pathetic you know real dark ages and that means everything that you think right now is like dark ages thinking everything that I think right now is dark ages thinking we're not the way the truth and the light we are monkeys with phones okay chillax everything's groovy <laughs>